Hi, I'm Jen Galbraith with Clearwater Marine Aquarium's Research Institute. I'm one of the manatee researchers. So a common question that we get is, what should I do if I see a manatee in the wild? It's an amazing experience to see a manatee in the wild as long as we are respecting them and giving them their space and distance so that we're not negatively affecting their natural behavior. We always want to make sure that we never bother them while they're eating or nursing their young. And a good rule of thumb is treat them as you wish to be treated yourself. Another common question about manatees is what do they eat? Manatees are herbivores, which means they eat only vegetation and usually it is the submerged aquatic vegetation you find out in the bays and the rivers. A mangrove estuary like this is a wonderful manatee habitat. It is sheltered from the elements when they need to rest. It provides food and it is one of the reasons we need to protect spaces like this in Tampa Bay for not only the manatees but all of the animals that need to enjoy it. Another important thing to remember about manatees is that they are slow moving animals that live in the shallow waters of the bays and rivers. That is why idle speed zones and slow speed zones are so very important. It gives the manatees enough time to react to boat coming and also reduces the risk that an accidental hit would cause dramatic injury or death. In 2021, there was a record number of manatee deaths. Many of these deaths were caused by the starvation event on the East Coast due to seagrass loss. It is because of this unprecedented crisis that Clearwater Marine Aquarium has stepped up to help with our critical care facility partners to create more room to house more manatees so that more manatees can receive the help and care that they need. We have instituted new pools to help house manatees that are in the final stages of their rehabilitation and we are helping to monitor the manatees once they are released to ensure that they adapt properly to wild behavior. When a manatee is released for rehabilitation and there is concern that it may not adapt properly to wild behavior, we do track them with a GPS tracker. This is a device that is made to passively monitor the manatee's behavior. It is attached by a belt to their tail and it floats behind them so that they don't necessarily feel it as they go about their normal life. We, it is made to break off in case it does get trapped on anything so it never has the ability to endanger the animal. We monitor them until we feel that they have made a successful acclimation to their wild behavior and then we remove that and they go off about their normal life. Do your part to help manatees. One of the ways that you can do that is to go to the cmaquarium.org website and donate to our Manatee Rehabilitation Fund to help us build more pools to be able to continue to help this amazing species.